A positive case of avian flu has been confirmed in a dead waterfowl in Brampton. And this comes as officials across the GTHA investigate the recent sudden deaths of hundreds of birds. Should the general public be concerned? To discuss this now, I'm joined live by Professor Cheyenne Sharif, acting dean at the University of Guelph's Ontario Veterinary College. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. Good morning, Tammy. Uh, first off, we'll start with whether or not the general public should be concerned and how concerned should we be about uh, these investigations and now a positive case here in the GTA. Uh, there's always uh, uh, some cautionary measures that we have to take. At the moment, the likelihood of transmission of this virus to humans is extremely low. There have only been a handful of cases across the globe uh, that have tested positive among humans. Uh, and especially those humans uh, that have had long and consistent exposure to poultry. So at the moment, I would say the likelihood of transmission is extremely low, but we should always err on the side of caution and make sure that we have preventive measures put in place in order to prevent transmission of this virus to other animals, including to mammals and, um, and to humans. And we'll get to some of those measures that you can take in a minute. I wanted to ask, now that we know that there's a positive case in Brampton and we have these investigations that are ongoing as well in Caledon and other parts of the GTHA, how likely is it that we're going to see another positive test come about here in the area? Uh, unfortunately, I have to say it's probably, it, it's quite probable that we are going to see more positive cases among uh, birds um, and potentially also among mammals because there have been uh, cases around the globe and also in Canada, uh, here in Canada, that we've seen the, the virus being transmitted from birds to mammals, including to raccoons, skunks, uh, foxes, bears, um, and, and so forth. So as a result of that, it wouldn't be uh, very surprising. It would be very disappointing, but not very surprising to see that there would be many more cases co coming up uh, both in wild birds and also in poultry. Okay, and what about pets? There are a lot of pet owners who may be concerned. Uh, there have been warnings about, you know, keeping your cats inside, making sure that your dogs are on leash and that kind of thing. What should pet owners be concerned about and what can they do to stay safe? Uh, uh, quite a few things can be done. First and foremost, we have to recognize the fact that the likelihood of transmission from birds to pets, to dogs and cats specifically, is very low. At the moment, the risk is very low. We never know how the virus is going to behave in the future and whether or not it's going to get adapted to mammals. At the moment, uh, the likelihood is very low, but there are a few things that can be done. Number one, if there are dead birds on premises, first and foremost, those dead birds would have to be, uh, uh, the authorities would have to be notified of the presence of those dead birds. People should not handle those dead birds. Instantaneously, they have to notify the uh, Canadian uh, Wildlife Health Cooperative, or CWHC, and there are various different branches across Canada, and there is one major hub here in Ontario. Uh, the other thing, as you mentioned, uh, pets, including dogs and cats, should not be allowed to interact with wild birds. That's, that's a possible source of transmission. But as I mentioned before, the likelihood of transmission at the moment is extremely low. Also, the other aspect is that cats and dogs should not be fed raw poultry meat. And I think that's, that's quite critical. Um, uh, whether or not you know that, that this is a common practice in Ontario, I wouldn't be able to say, but I, I, I would say that in order to err on the side of caution, any sort of consumption of raw poultry meat by dogs and cats should be, uh, should be very limited. All right. Some very good advice for uh, those dog owners and uh, pet owners who may be concerned as they're out for their walks this morning. Uh, Cheyenne Sharif, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We really appreciate it. Thank you very much for having me.